As a new century opened, the painter Giotto di Bondon observed many of these currents and forged them into something distinctly Florentine and enormously influential. Where are the works of art in just with the blemished splendor of the heavenly Giotto's paintings capture our attention by representing holy figures and stories as if and majestic but earthly realms. Simon Martini was a major figure in the development of early Italian art and an important exponent of the Gothic style of painting. Martini did more than any of the artists who spread the influence of science painting. Translation is his masterpiece and is not the only one of the most outstanding works of Gothic painting. Paolo Sello may not be a familiar name, but this Florentine painter was one of the pioneers of linear perspective in art. It is said that this was his obsession and he would burn the midnight oil trying to grasp the exact vanishing point. Filippo Lippi was one of the many leading Florentine artists patronized by the powerful Cosimo de Misi. He was a former Carmelite monk who left the order after a scandalous love affair with a nun and later became Buddhism master. Lippi's Madonna doesn't need a halo or base of ladies to assure us for purity and holiness. Like Paolo Celio, Pierre de la Francesca was a mathematician as well as a painter. It's not surprising, therefore, that his paintings characterized by its use of geometric forms and perspective as well as serum humanism during the humanistic renaissance. It was all religious figures who were committed to canvas, as this painting demonstrates. If there is anyone that encapsulates the spirit of renaissance, it's Leonardo da Vinci. He spent his life in the pursuit of knowledge and he was revered as much as his towering intellect as his artistic prowess. The illustration is one of Leonardo's early masterpieces, painted soon as he became master in the Painters Guild in Florence. Sandro Botticelli was one of the most popular artists of the Italian Renaissance and the first artist of his period to paint mythologies, with the reverence usually reserved for religious themes. The Prima Bada is only one of the most significant famous features of Renaissance. It's also one of the most discussed paintings in the entire history of art. We consider to be Botticelli's most majestic portrayal of Virgin and Child is Tondo. It takes its name from a Latin hymn known as the Magnificati. It is also known as Virgin and Child with the Five Angels, reciting the Magnificat with the right hand and pomegranate on the symbol of resurrection and life everlasting seeds in near life. The Virtu is one of the most famous paintings in the history of art. It is to have been painted with Celis patron Saint Duke Fair Francesco de Medici. Venus, the Greek goddess of love, is blown ashore on a scallop shell by Saphir, the west wind whose sweet breath begets flowers flora, the great goddess of flowers waits to cover her naked body with a rich pattern. Striking different tone, La Colonia heralds the end of the Florentine Renaissance, charismatic but fanatical monk called Savonarone turned Florence into the theocracy, denouncing the humanistic culture of Italian Renaissance and sponsoring a one farce of vanities, but still himself came under the monk's spell and even burning some of his own paintings. Donny Tondo, 1506, a Florence native Michelangelo's French month of his life, 1475 to 1564, working for the Pope's in Rome. He was of the greatest artist who ever lived. And his astonishing career encompassed painting, sculpture, architecture, and even poetry. Painted for a Florentine business. Angel Playing Flute. Giovanni Battista di Jacopo. 1945-1540. On his nickname, Rosa Florentino, to his flaming red hair. This Florence born artist is best known for his descent from the cross altar piece, which hangs in the Pinacoteca Communale. Madonna Delia Selja Demonstrate Raphael's mastery of the, of the tondo. His colors are un, unusually vibrant, a mix of red, blue, orange, and acid green. A beautifully dressed Madonna holds the Christ child as they both look towards the view. St. Mary Magdalene, 1531 Her, her eyes cast upwards in an act of worship. This is a bold and erotic treatment by Mary Magdalene. Tai Shan's penitent prostitute is packed with femininity and has a lush mane of hair. That the Last Judgment in Florence Cathedral, 1572. Giorgio Basari, 1511-1574, is a towering figure of the Italian Renaissance, an artist and, and architect himself. He is best known for his biographies of the artists of this period. Venus of Urbino, 1578 The greatest painter of the Venetian school, Taishan, 1485-1576 to 
did not spread his talent widely. He stuck to faith and left a huge body of work that includes erotic mythologies. Moving Medusa, 1597. Carabaggio, 1571 to 1610. Is known as much for his short and tem tempestuous life as for his work of art. His popular and controversial paintings were characterized by their dramatic. The Assumption of the Virgin, 1600. By the end of the 16th century, the Catholic Church was once again feeling optimistic. Even triumphant, it had emerged from the crisis with, with renewed vigor and clarity of purpose. Shepherding the faithful, it's instructing them on Catholic. The Crowning with Thorns, 1655. The visual arts, the Church argued, played a key role in guiding the faithful. They were certainly as important as the written and spoken word, and perhaps even more important since they were accessible to, to the learned and the unlearned alike. To be, to be effective in its pastoral role, religious art had, had to be clear, persuasive, and powerful. Not only did it have to instruct, but it also to inspire. It had to move faithful to feel the reality of Christ's sacrifices. The suffering of the Martyrs, the visions of the sea. Bang, banquet, 